Alright, so in this equation, I have 1 to the power of x is equal to 3. So this might seem like an impossible equation, right? Because how can 1 be to the power of any number and equal to, th equal to 3 if 1 to the power of even a million is still equal to 1? Well, let's try to solve this equation the way we would solve any other exponential equation. The first thing I would do is take the natural log or ln on both sides. So I get ln 1 to the power of x is equal to ln 3. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this can equal b times ln a. In this case, I have ln 1 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln 1 is equal to ln 3. And now if I divide both sides by ln 1, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to ln 3 over ln 1. Now, if you guys already didn't know, ln 1 is equal to 0. So I get x is equal to ln 3 over 0, and you can't take any number and divide it by 0 because that's undefined, meaning this has no solution. So that method doesn't work. However, this, mean, this just means that there are no real solutions. But there are different types of solutions. So what I'm going to do to solve this equation is, first, let's recall Euler's formula. And if you guys don't know what this is, it states that if I have something in the form e to the power of i times theta, this is equal to cos of theta plus i times sine of theta. And I know this may seem a little complicated right now, but just bear with me. So let's say that theta here is equal to 0. So if theta equals 0, then I get e to the power of i times 0 is equal to cos of 0 plus i times sine of 0. So then I get e to the power of 0 is equal to 1, cos of 0 is 1, plus sine of 0 is 0, and 0 times i is 0, so 1 plus 0. And e to the power of 0 is 1, so I get 1 is equal to 1 plus 0. Now, what if we say that theta is equal to 2k pi? k being a constant. So it could equal any number, 1, 2, or 3. So if I plug this in, I get e to the power of i times 2k pi is equal to cos of 2k pi plus i times sine of 2k pi. Now, what if k is equal to 1? What if our constant k is equal to 1? Then I get e to the power of i times 2 pi is equal to cosine of 2 pi plus i times sine of 2 pi. Now, cosine of 2 pi is 1, and sine of 2 pi is 0. So I get this is equal to 1. Now, if k is equal to 2, I would get cos of 4 pi plus i of sine 4 pi. Cos of 4 pi is 1, and i times sine of 4 pi is again 0. And if I do the same thing with 3, I would again get 1 plus 0. So this pattern continues, and it keeps on equaling 1, no matter what value of k we get. 
So we can say that e to the power of i times 2k pi, this is equal to 1 no matter what value of k we have. So now this means that we can substitute this in back to our original equation, which is 1 to the power of x is equal to 3. This is our original equation. And we can substitute in 1 for e to the power of i times 2k pi. So now I get e to the power of i times 2k pi to the power of x is equal to 3. And this is my new equation. So now to solve this, I'm going to do what I did at the start. I'm going to take the natural log or ln on both sides. So I get ln e to the power of i times 2k pi to the power of x is equal to ln of 3. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times ln a. In this case, I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln e to the power of i times 2k pi is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use this property again and move this to the front as well. So I get i times 2k pi times ln e is equal to ln 3. And ln e, ln and e, these two cancel out. So now I'm left with i times 2k pi is equal to ln 3. Sorry, and I also have x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by i times 2k pi. So then these cancel out, and I get x is equal to ln3 over i times 2k pi. Now I'm going to multiply this by i over i, which is the same thing as 1. So I get x is equal to i times ln 3 over i times i is i squared. And if you guys already know, i squared is equal to negative 1. So over negative 2k pi. And k, in this case, can't equal 0. Because if k over 0, this is wouldn't work. So this is my solution to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have 9 to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have 3 to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have A, 27 to the power of 30. And how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten 9 to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10 and this was gone from adding the bases but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So 
we first start with 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 10. So I get 9 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 9 to the power of 10 times 3. And now this is equal to 3 squared to the power of 10 times 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10 is going to equal 3 to the power of 20. And I have this times 3 to the power of 1. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to 3 to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family members.